Hey guys, Halfway Dead here. I just wanted to make a really quick update video on Bacchus Mod because there are some really cool new features. Not many people know this, but you could replace items in Bacchus Mod for a really long time actually. But there has never been an easy way to do that and that is what has changed now. If you open up the user interface with F2, there is this new items tab and you can see that you can override your items by enabling the item mods. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how that works with a quick example. So what you could do is just go right here and go to the drop down and select 20xx for example and it would replace the decal for that. And this is 100% client side which means if you go into a game nobody else will be able to see this just like with Alpha Console. Only you will see this and only your car will change. So the way I would recommend setting up your car is just enabling the item mods, then you just close the GUI with pressing escape or the X button. And I'm gonna create a new preset right here and I'm gonna make a car that um, Moz and John Sandman showed in one of their videos, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the orange breakout. Well, I don't have an orange breakout, so we're gonna have to fix that later. I'm just going to go with stripes, so the people that see the real car on the server are going to have something to look at at least. Then I'll select colors, so I will have to select this one. And those are the colors that I want. Um, I don't own the real wheels either, so I'm just going to go ahead and select something neutral right there. For the boost, I want to have flamethrower regular on blue and flame for red on orange and for the trail we need friction somehow I can't click on this right now all right friction and that's about it I mean the goal explosion is really just preference so once I've done this this is not the finished car but this is what people are gonna see if um, they see my real car online so now I can open the Bacchus Mode interface and I can see all the items that I've equipped right here. And what I actually wanted is not breakout stripes, but instead I wanted streamline. And then something else I wanted, as I said earlier, I wanted the orange breakout because that really makes the colors pop. And we also wanted different wheels. We wanted the chrono wheels. And this is basically the preset. So now I have the problem that I'm currently overwriting um, same loadout for both teams, so that would equip Flamethrower Red on blue team. And because I own the boost for real, I can just select nothing. And that means it will not overwrite my boost. So this is all done, so I'm just gonna go in a game and show you guys how this looks. And it works just like you would expect it. On the blue team I have these nice looking blue car with the flame for a blue and if I change teams to orange it will be flame for a red even though I have selected same loadout for both teams because only the items that I override are important in this section and I'm not actually overriding anything per team I'm overriding the same things for both teams and yeah this is the card this is pretty easy and you could set everything up through this interface but that means that nobody else would see any of these items and every item that I can equip for real, uh, every person will see for real. And that's why I really recommend just setting up your items first through the garage and then changing anything that you don't own yet. But there is something really cool about this feature and that is the share code, which actually means that all these items I've changed, which is streamline and I've changed the car body color to orange and the wheels to chrono and the tray to friction, they are all encoded in this string. So if I press copy, then it will only, it's gonna copy this code to my clipboard and I can copy paste this to my friends and they can actually copy it and press the load button and then they will have the same preset in their client. Obviously this is only gonna include all the items I've actually selected here. So for example, if I want to include the boost in my preset, then I would uh, select, deselect same loadout for both teams and I would select the flamethrower um, regular for blue team and the flamethrower red for the 
regular team. And that means that if people use this long code now and I copy that, then they will also get the boost with that preset. If you have used Bacchus mod before, you may know that there used to be an, uh, a way to change the car to all RGB colors in the miscellaneous tab that got removed. Bacchus is currently working on integrating that into the items tab so it can be saved with the share code. Uh, it might be ready for the update, it might not be. This is currently a preview version, but it's gonna come out soon either way. Another feature that is planned, as you can see right here, is the presets. Right now you only have this one preset and you can obviously copy the codes and save them somewhere and load them later. But it would obviously be nice to just have that right in the interface right here, but that's a feature that's getting added later. That's basically everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Once the Rocket League patch comes out, Bacchus will have to update this for the new patch. But once that it's done, he's gonna add everyone on the Discord or you can follow him on Twitter and he will probably post a message there too.